I'm going to prepare uh, dinner and what I have, I had some of these pork loin chops, so without the bone, just the meat, bit of fat. Um, and again, you buy them in packets of fours and sixes in a shop, very cheap, it's a cheap cut of meat, but it can be really tasty. Um, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to pan them a little bit, so I'm going to just insert a couple of cuts on the fat side and then you can put it in cling film um, to, to beat them however I just recycle I keep all my clean shopping bags and this will just work just the same and it saves you spending money on cling film and basically all you want to do is quite firmly but gently just hit your meat and just follow follow it as it expands and you just want a nice thin you want to increase it almost double the size as what you've put it in there and what this does it absorbs whatever flavours you're going to put on it very quickly but also it will make cooking time really fast and that's what it's all about come dinner time we don't want to be mucking around we just want to get on with it and again this will be today I think we'll have a, a 10 minute cooking uh, dinner so nice and fast so once you've done that, you should now end up with a nice thin chop and mm -hmm. you just do the same sous with all of them. You've got sous chef there. Uh, and this is my sous chef, which I'm sure you've seen on other films. He always comes in the kitchen and helps out. He sniffs out. Now you've done all your slices of meat, so they're nice and thin. And they're in this pot and now we're going to marinate these and all I'm using um, I've got the garlic paste because I can't be bothered to do the garlic fresh garlic myself so one teaspoon of garlic paste I've got uh, harissa a bit of harissa paste I'll use another teaspoon um, and again a nice small teaspoon of harissa paste. I've got a quarter of a, me a lemon that I found in the fridge. So we'll just a little squeeze of that in there. And I've got some paprika. Now you can buy this sweet paprika, uh, a hot paprika, and you want a nice coating of that. Uh, we're also going to use a little bit of black pepper which I always grind myself I prefer it than the shop bought one but that's entirely up to you and what I've got in the freezer is I buy fresh herbs but then after a day or two before they go off I just freeze them and you can just get them out of the freezer and this is coriander and um, yeah again no waste because it's just for a marinade and it will give it a lovely flavor and then we finish off with a nice gollop of white wine now you're going to mix all this together, bung it in the fridge for a few hours, overnight, you could do it the day before, whatever you like. It really smells nice, smell that. Lovely. Can I just ask you, what is harissa paste? Harissa you paste, so what we've done, we marinated the, the, the meat with some garlic, some white wine, bit of pepper, harissa paste. Harissa paste is a mixture of different herbs and chili and basically you could use any form all you want is some form of heat so whatever you need tabasco whatever you got in the cupboard 
chili powder, chili flakes, you could use anything just to give the meat a little bit of heat. Now, if you notice, I never put salt on it because salt extracts the blood from any meat. So whenever you marinate, never put salt on. The salt is added once we go into the pan. So what we're doing today is we're going to flash this through the pan and then we'll stick it in the oven. And then we're going to have a lovely mushroom sauce. And I bought these at the beginning or late last week from my green grocer. Um, and it's a, a mixture of wild mushrooms, but you could use any mushrooms. So any mushrooms that you've got in the fridge, or if you're going to go and buy them and you can't get wild mushrooms, you get a different taste, obviously, by having a selection like this. But, it, you know, normal mushrooms, little button mushrooms, big mushrooms, just slice them. So any mushroom will do the same effect. So first of all, we come over. We've got a pan, let's get a lot of heat. And what you're going to need is some form of oven dish because once you flash the meat through... Should I go the other side? You can do. Um, once you flash the meat through, we're going to put it in the oven. So I'll show you how to do one. And then, so we've got five or six bits to do. I'm going to do one at a time. I'm only going to put the oil and a bit of butter just the once so a little bit of I'm using olive oil again you could use any vegetable oil that you've got and a little knob of butter the reason for putting the oil and the butter is so that the butter doesn't burn um, in this pot I've already got some I'm going to use a couple of little new potatoes and then I'm going to use a bit of broccoli to um, to accomplish uh, to accompany the uh, the meat. So we get the the pan nice and hot. Once the butter is melted, we get the each individual steak, and we just put it in. And literally, we're going to do a minute on each side. That's all it's going to need. And again, it's just a nice, quick, easy way to do a family meal, ready in no time, full of flavour. And affordable. So we put it on our tray and we want to do the same with all the Right, okay, so this is the last one I'm, I'm putting through the pan. It's now ready. So it goes on my tray. And now we'll stick it in an oven. I've preheated it. I've preheated it 200 degrees. So we'll bung that in there. I think that's uh, gas mark six if you've got a gas oven. Uh, and now in the same pan. Turned it off, by the way. In the same pan, I'm going to put my mushrooms. Now, my camera person decided to switch the heat off. So we'll get it up to temperature again. You just can't get the staff nowadays. And I'm putting my mushrooms in. Now, as I said, I buy these from my greengrocer and the mushrooms are very clean. If you buy mushrooms and they've got a bit of dirt, always nice to try and with a little brush, just brush them off. Try not to wash them because they absorb water. However, if you really feel you need to wash them, just very quickly under water and drain straight away. So our mushrooms are now in there. Now, this is an additional bit. You don't have to do this. 
I'm just going to quickly put a bit of salt, a bit of pepper, and now I'm just going to put a little bit of brandy, now be careful because this is going to go, now if you haven't got brandy, don't worry, you don't need it, but it just gives it a really nice taste, it's burnt away, so the alcohol is burnt. Now we can chuck another small knob of butter, and again I'm going to use a little bit of my garlic paste, I'm going to put that in there because mushrooms and garlic just go really well. So we've now, we're now sautéing these mushrooms. And what we want, we want to try and get them to extract the water that they have. And now here, this is the last bit of the marinade where the meat has been. And I'm now going to add that to the mushrooms. I'm also going to add a little uh, gallop of wine, just a, a little bit of wine. Let's get that all nice and mixed. And now I'll put the heat right down and we'll cover it. And we'll let it simmer. For so we take the pan and this is how it's looking. Lovely. Now, what we'll do is we'll take the meat out of the oven. And all the juices that the meat is uh, extracted, we're going to add to our mushrooms. So our meat now is drained. Now we can use the mushroom sauce as it is, or if you want it to be luxurious, you can, this is a choice, you can add, I'm just going to add some single cream, just to give you that extra half an inch on the waist. there you have, let's just bring it to the boil. So now our mushrooms have started to boil again after I've added the cream and literally now we just dress over the meat. Now again for you vegetarians out there and vegans, and you could use this mushroom sauce as your main meal without the meat and you could do it on a nice bed of rice. Obviously if you're vegan you're not going to use the cream, you would just use a little bit of vegetable stock instead of the cream. Um, so it, it gives you other options, but it's a, a delicious meal without the meat, just the mushrooms, the meatiness of those mushrooms. Is it delicious and nutritious? It's delicious and nutritious, yes, well said.